Zoho One is a suite of applications that work collectively and will help you run your entire business on the cloud. The most popular app in the bundle is Zoho CRM, which you might already know, but the suite actually includes 45 applications. The apps are divided in several categories, and some of them perform similar actions, which could be overwhelming to understand what each one is used for. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of all of them as fast as possible. So, let's start with Zoho CRM, which is the place where you are going to manage your sales process and client communications. Here is where you will store your leads, contacts, accounts, and deals, but it can do a lot more than that. The CRM can be the core of your business and works really well with marketing apps and finance apps. Biggin is another CRM that you can use if you have a small business. It's much more simple to use than Zoho CRM, but all the basics are covered, like creating tasks automatically or sending email notifications. Next, we have Bookings, an online scheduler app that allows you to create a calendar that your clients can use to book appointments with you. It syncs with other calendars like Google and Office. That was it for the sales category. Now let's go over the apps in the marketing category. Marketing Automation is a platform that allows you to manage any marketing activities across multiple channels, like your website, social media, and email marketing campaigns. This is a really advanced app for companies that invest a lot in marketing. If you only want to create email marketing campaigns, you can use Campaigns. With it, you can divide your contacts in groups and send emails about products information, promotions, notifications, newsletters, and more. This one is easier to use than marketing automation and integrates really well with CRM. Social manages all your social media in one place. You can connect Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and other social networks, and then schedule posts, answer comments, and see statistics all in one place. It also integrates with Zoho CRM and Zoho Desk. Next, we have Survey. You can use it to create surveys that you can send to your contacts, then you can see reports and analytics about the data collected. Forms is a form builder app that can help you create any forms you need. You can share the forms with your contacts to collect data. It has a lot of fields that you can use and also some advanced features like form logic, workflows, and integrations. Zoho Sites is a website builder like Squarespace or Wix that lets you create and host your own website. You can also set up a blog here. This app works with Zoho CRM web forms, sales IQ, and campaigns. PageSense is a platform that tracks user behavior on your website, so you can see how they interact with your different pages. Once the code is installed on your website, you will be able to see statistics and optimize it accordingly. Earlier, I mentioned Sales IQ. This is another app that you can add to your website so you can chat with the visitors as well as see visitor information, like where they are from and how much time they spent on the website. If the visitor is a contact in your CRM, you will be able to see that information from Sales IQ. You can also create a chatbot and set active hours. Backstage helps you manage events organized by you or your company. You can organize all event activities, create a landing page for the event, as well as set up and sell tickets. Zoho Commerce is an e-commerce platform similar to Shopify, where you can create your online store and sell products. It integrates with many other Zoho apps like CRM, campaigns, books, and inventory. Quick side note here. If you're interested in learning more about Zoho One, we made a Zoho One course that goes over the top 10 most useful Zoho One apps. Check out the link in the description for more information. The next category is support. Zoho Desk is another popular app included in Zoho One. With Desk, you can centralize all support-related communications between you and your customers. The CRM is mainly used for sales, but once the contact becomes a customer, you might start offering customer service. So you will use this app for that. All the tickets generated will be here, and any agent can get back to your customer with the solution. You can also create a knowledge database. Next, we have Assist. This tool allows you to do remote support. For example, if you are in the IT department and an employee that is working from home has issues with his computer, you can use Assist to take control of his computer and troubleshoot the issue as if you were sitting next to him. And you can do the same with customers. The last app in the support category is Lens. This one is similar to Assist, but the main difference is that it's focused on support equipment instead of computers. The employee or customer can use their smartphone's camera to show the issue with the equipment, and you can guide them to solve the issue. The next category is Communication. Here we have Zoho Mail, which is similar to Gmail or Outlook. You can set up your company email, calendar, and contacts, and it integrates really well with several Zoho apps. Click is a chat app similar to Slack. You can create different chat groups as well as channels and send messages, files, images, videos, and more. 
Audio and video calls are also available. And you can access your chats from a lot of different Zoho apps like Zoho CRM or Zoho Projects. Now we are going to go over the apps in the collaboration category. Projects is a project management app that can track tasks, timesheets, milestones, and more. It is a very flexible tool with a lot of customization features. Once you close a deal, you are going to use Zoho Projects to make sure you deliver your product or service based on the agreement you made. Sprints is another project management tool, but it uses the Agile methodology normally used for software development. Zoho Connect is a private social network for your company, where all the users can share information, pictures, videos, and more. Also, you can create groups, forums, employee manuals, company events, and more. Next, we have Learn. This platform lets you create articles, classes, and courses that you can use to train your employees. When the employee finishes the class, he or she can be quizzed. You can use text, images, and videos to create your courses. Team Inbox is a shared email inbox for teams where you can set up a company email, like sales at yourdomain.com. The incoming emails are assigned to the users and they can collaborate right there and respond to the emails. It's a bit similar to Zoho Desk, but Desk is more advanced. Meeting is an app similar to Zoom that you can use to have virtual meetings. This app is also used to broadcast webinars. It integrates with other Zoho products like CRM, Mail, Projects, and Connect. WorkDrive is a cloud storage solution like Google Drive or Dropbox. You can create folders, documents, spreadsheets, and presentations, as well as upload any files you want. There's also a desktop client if you want to sync all your files to your computer. Now we are going to go over the apps in the productivity category. Writer is similar to Microsoft Word. You can create documents and templates, share them with other users, and collaborate while editing them. Zoho Sheet compares to Microsoft Excel and Zoho Show with PowerPoint. Sign allows you to send documents that require an electronic signature. You can upload a PDF document, add the signing fields, and send it to your clients. They will be able to sign the document online. It integrates with several Zoho One products like CRM, Desk, People, and Books. Next, we have Notebook. This is a note-taking app where you can add text, pictures, and voice to your notes and share them for collaboration. It integrates with a few Zoho apps like CRM, Mail, Meetings, Click, and Projects. Zoho Vault is a password manager app where you can store passwords and sensitive information. The next category is Finance. First, we have Zoho Books, an accounting software similar to QuickBooks. You can create and send invoices, register payments, and manage expenses. It integrates really well with Zoho CRM, Zoho Projects, Zoho Inventory, and Zoho People. Zoho Invoice is similar to Books, but has fewer capabilities. If you are a freelancer or a small business, you could manage your finances here. With Zoho Expense, you and your employees can report expenses, track mileage, manage travel itineraries, and get reimbursements. It integrates with several Zoho One apps, including Zoho Books and Zoho Projects. Checkout allows you to create a payment page so you can process payments online. Next is Zoho Payroll. With this app, you can run payroll, automating any calculations for taxes and employee compensation. It integrates with other apps like People and Books. Keep in mind that it is only available in a few countries. In the Operations category, we have two apps. Zoho Subscriptions is used to create and manage recurring bills and subscriptions. For example, if you own a gym and have multiple plans available for your customers, you can create and manage all the plans with this app as well as automatically charge your client's credit card each month. Inventory is a stock management app that you can use to control your inventory and manage and track the shipping status of your orders. It works with several Zoho apps and also integrates with Amazon, Shopify, eBay, and Etsy. Next, we have the human resources category. Zoho People is a human resource app where you can manage all your employees. It can help you with hiring, onboarding, tracking attendance, as well as time tracking and scheduling shifts. It integrates with projects, expense, sign, and more. Recruit is an applicant tracking system that will help you with your hiring process. Here, you can keep a list of your job openings and manage all the applicants. The next category is business process. Zoho Creator is a development platform that you can use to create apps for your business. If you need to accomplish something specific to your business and none of the other Zoho apps can do it, you can create your own app here. It is a low-code platform, but you will need to learn Deluge, the Zoho programming language, to be able to get all the functionality you may want. Next, we have Analytics. Here, you can add and analyze different data sources. Then you can create boards to display the information using tables, charts, and more. With Zoho Flow, you can create workflows to automate business processes. 
For example, if every time a deal is won, you notify your team via email, you could automate the process so the email is sent automatically to your team right after you mark the deal as won. It works with more than 800 apps. Data Prep is a tool that lets you understand and edit your databases in an easy way. You can upload spreadsheets and find duplicates, typos, inconsistencies, and more. It integrates with other apps like Analytics and CRM. And our last category is Legal. We only have one app here, which is Contract Management. This platform lets you manage the life cycle of a contract, including the creation of the contract, approvals, negotiation, and signature. It's meant to be used by legal teams. All right, guys, that's it. Those are all the apps included in Zoho One. We hope you enjoyed the video and would really appreciate if you can click on the like button and subscribe. We have other videos about Zoho products on this channel, so please check them out. They are linked in the description below. You will also find a link to our website where you can find the entire list of Zoho One products with descriptions. Thanks for watching.